pen smells really bad. So why do I keep smelling it? Is it too late for me to go to law school? What is this? You were out sick yesterday, so we got you a get well cake. It's carrot. It's good for you. Get well, get well, get well soon. We wish you to get Stop well. It! That's not even a song. I mean, now we're celebrating a sick day? I think it's nice. What? What is nice? Trying to fill the void in your life with flour and sugar and egg and vanilla? I mean, we are all unhappy. Do we have to be fat, too? <laughs> Not you, Becky. I know you have a slow metabolism. <laughs> I don't want one more piece of cake in my office. Get well, get well sick. It's not happening. <laughs> Can we still eat it? <laughs> Anybody here? Peter boy? <laughs> Cakewalk. <laughs> get well, get well soon. We wish you to get well. <laughs> oh, what a stirring little anthem of wellness. <laughs> Elaine! Mr. Peterman, uh... we missed you at the get well party. Poor old Walt has a polyp in the do one of them. <laughs> it's benign, but who's oh, still a bastard? <laughs> oh, Elaine. Can you keep a secret? No, sir, I can't. Ah. <laughs> Inside that small college boy mini fridge is my latest acquisition. A slice of cake from the wedding of King Edward VIII to Wallace Simpson circa 1937. The price, $29,000. <laughs> Guess what I ate? An ostrich burger. <laughs> no. A $29,000 piece of cake. Peterman got it, the Duke and Duchess of Windsor auction. Oh, it was the most romantic thing I've ever eaten. How did it taste? A little stale. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you sleeping with Peterman? <laughs> no. <laughs> he doesn't know I ate it. In fact, he almost caught me. I have to sneak back in and even it out. You know, they say ostrich has less fat, but you eat more of it. A little off the side. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> no point in wasting 1200 bucks. <laughs> oh, Commander, isn't the wedding marvelous? Well, hey, oh, I shouldn't. I mustn't. Ah, oh, what the hell? <laughs> to replace an antique piece of cake? Do you have anything that's been, you know, laying around for a while? <laughs> Something pre-war would be just great. Oh, hey, Elaine. Oh, you got the munchies? No, Kramer, I'm in big, big, big trouble. I need a cake that looks like this. Huh? Oh, yeah, Sotheby's. Yeah, they make good cake. <laughs> Do any of these look close? No, no. But I know I've seen cake just like that. Oh, oh Enemans, yeah. Enemans? From the supermarket? Well, no, they're not really in the supermarket. Yeah, they got their own case at the end of the aisle. <laughs> Elaine, excellent. I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, Erwin Lubeck. Oh, hello. Charmed. <laughs> All right. Brace yourself, Lubeck. You are about to be launched via pastry back to the wedding of one of the most dashing and romantic Nazi sympathizers of the entire British royal family. I guess I'll just... Oh, no, Elaine, stay. Lubeck here is the world's foremost appraiser of vintage pastry. <laughs> All right, Lubeck. How much is she worth? I'd say about 219 <laughs> $219,000! Lubeck, you glorious titwillow, you just made me a profit of $190,000. No. $2.19. It's an Intamins. Do they have a castle at Windsor? No, they have a display case at the end of the aisle. Oh, good Lord. You're all right, Peterman. You look ill. Get well, get well soon. We want you to get 
Get well.